Hey, welcome to a new video. Normal bees exist on every continent in the world, except Antarctica. However, the giant honeybee, scientifically called Apis dorsata, lives in the forest of South and Southeast Asia, especially in the Terai forest of Nepal. They are the largest species of honeybee, measuring about 1 inch or 2.5 centimeters in length. Their nests are often built far above the ground in the trees. Being stung by a giant honeybee can cause a range of symptoms from mild allergies, abdominal pains, chest discomfort, severe organ damage, or a serious injury to the intestines. A while back, a group of researchers published a study reporting serious cases of giant honeybee stings in Sri Lanka. One case involved a 7-year-old man who was chased by 200 bees. Because the giant honeybee is rather aggressive species of bee, it's also never kept by beekeepers. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Bot flies, also known as hornet flies, are no bigger than your palm, but they are very terrifying. The bot fly is a type of parasitic fly, which means they need a host. And yes, that can include humans. They literally cannot complete their life cycle unless they spend their larval stage in a suitable host. The way they get a host is by depositing their eggs on a blood-eating insect like a mosquito. When that mosquito bites someone, the eggs are transmitted, and the host's body heat encourages the eggs to hatch. The hornet grows 12 to 19 millimeters. The creepy thing about them is that they can even live under your skin. In most cases, the host will survive, but there is a risk that the skin will become infected. And this infection can be deadly. However, if you want to remove this parasite, you will need a pair of pliers. Paleodictyoptera was a group of large extinct flying insects that were abundant approximately 300 million years ago. These insects were characterized by their broad, flat wings spanning several inches or centimeters and supported by a network of veins. The most well-known Paleodictyoptera belonged to the family Megacicoptera, which included some of the largest insects ever known. These insects had wingspans that could reach over 20 inches or 50 centimeters. They were likely opportunistic feeders, consuming a variety of plant material, insects, and other small animals. Their wings would have enabled them to glide over long distances and make rapid turns, making them agile hunters. Paleodictyoptera has also been a significant source of information about the evolution of wings and insects. Their wings differ in several ways from that of modern insects, including their shape, the way they are supported, and how they stabilize the wings during flight. Like other insects, they eventually went extinct, about 300 to 250 million years ago. The exact cause of their extinction is unknown, but it's thought to have been caused by a combination of factors. The giant tree weta is one of the largest insects that has ever lived on Earth. They are native to New Zealand. Not only are they one of the largest insects in the world, but they are also considered the heaviest insects in the world. A giant tree weta can weigh about 70 grams. Although they have no sting, they can bite you viciously. Their name comes from the Maori people who first inhabited New Zealand, and it means God of Ugly Things. So you are dealing with a very old insect. Fossils of giant tree wettas date back to the Triassic period, more than 190 million years ago. This means that these insects are older than some dinosaurs. Another strange fact about them is that they have ears on their knees. Probably a mistake by Mother Nature. Unlike the average bee, these hornets have a sting that is made to do maximum damage. The bald-faced hornets can sting you repeatedly, so it's best to stay away from these insects. Any predator or intruder they see as a threat, remember that you are dealing with an insect that likes to chew up bees rather than avoid them. The sting of these insects have a venom that can last 24 hours and is extremely painful and especially dangerous near your face or eyes. People who have experienced this have reported everything from difficulty breathing and swallowing problems. In other cases, people had severe allergic reactions and so also had to be taken to the hospital immediately. The Optinoporisis bermanicus is a genus of extinct wasps that contains eight known species, and it's the only genus in the family of Optinoporisidae. The wasps in this genus stand out for their unique appearance, which is compared to the combination of an ant, a grasshopper, and a wasp. Thanks to one specimen that was remarkably well-preserved, scientists were able to study the wasp in detail. 
The remarkable fossil showed a well-preserved head, but due to the preservation process, the abdomen was flattened. The wasp is thought to have a slender body with a distinctive neck-like structure. The head was elongated and had a large compound eye, antenna, and strong jaws. The wings are clear with visible veins and small hairs, and the legs were long and slender, resembling those of a grasshopper. The specimen found was a female. It's a wingless wasp, but it's believed that the species lost its wings due to dense vegetation in the surrounding environment. The Australian funnel spider, also known as the Atracidae, is considered the most deadly spider in the world. Fortunately, it's only found in the east of Australia. The spider has at least 40 subspecies, but they are not all equally dangerous. However, some, like the Australian funnel spider, have very strong poisons that act quickly on you. The symptoms you might get is the cramping of the heart and muscles. 13 people would not have survived after touching the spider, but fortunately, an antidote was developed in 1981, and since then, there have been no new victims. So if you decide to go on vacation to Australia, and you are in the vicinity of humid forest areas, beware. Because even if there is an antidote, the bite is still very painful. I myself don't like a small spider. But if I met this spider, it would scare the hell out of me. Permanent Scorpius kirktonensis is an extinct species of scorpion that lived during the early Carboniferous period, approximately 330 million years ago. This species is one of the largest scorpions ever discovered, with the largest known individual estimated to be over 28 inches or 70 centimeters long. Fossil remains of this killer scorpion were first found in the Kirkton Formation of Scotland. Surprisingly, this prehistoric scorpion had soft tissue that was well preserved. This has allowed scientists to study the anatomy and behavior in greater detail compared to other fossils that have been found. Pulmonis scorpius kirktonensis likely inhabited various aquatic and semi-aquatic environments, including rivers, lakes, and swamps. It was also a highly effective predator, using its sharp claws and venomous sting to capture prey. One of the most notable features of this scorpion is its ability to breathe air, making it one of the earliest known scorpions to have developed this adaptation. The Velvet Ant also has another, much more terrifying name, which is the Cow Killer. But don't worry, there is no known case where this insect has killed a cow. The name only describes how painful the sting of the insect can be. According to those who have experienced such a thing, this pain is said to be unbearable. Although the velvet ant has the name ant in its name, it's actually not an ant, but a wasp. The reason is, is that it's often mistaken for an ant, because the female is wingless. A less fun fact about this wasp is the way the females lay their eggs. Instead of building her own nest, she takes over the nest of the species. And when the larva hatches, she eats the host's pupa. The velvet ant's ferocity is compounded by its many forms of defensive weapons, including its chemical defense odor, thickened external skeleton, warning sounds, and, of course, its venom. Parapuzosa seperendensis is an extinct species of ammonite that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 83 to 71 million years ago. It inhabited the marine environments of what is now Westphalia, Germany. It's the largest known species of ammonite, with a shell that could reach up to 4 feet, or 1.2 meters in diameter, and weigh over 220 pounds, or 100 kilograms. However, it's unclear whether the ammonite was a fast swimmer or mainly lived in the seabed. The exact size is a matter of debate, as many specimens are incomplete or damaged. But scientists agree that there were no larger ammonites than this one. The name ammonite comes from the spiral shape of the animal's shell, which is thought to resemble the horns of an ancient Egyptian god, Amon. These distinctive spirals of ammonite shells have been used as a symbol for the interconnectivity of everything. The brown tail moth is a moth with tiny poisonous hairs. Fortunately, there are only a few places in the world where this insect is found. This invasive species was accidentally introduced from Europe in 1897 and now is found in the United States on the coast of Massachusetts in Maine. Invasive species actually means that the insect has become greatly overpopulated and is causing damage to its new environment. The butterfly itself would not be too dangerous, but you have to be especially careful when they are still in larva. This is because the larvae are covered in poisonous hairs that can lead to dermatitis in sensitive individuals. Dermatitis causes a serious rash, so try to avoid contact with this dangerous insect at all times. Opopania regalis was first described by Charles Doolittle Walcott in 1912. 
He considered this creature to be the most primitive of all anthropods, due to its unusual anatomy and the absence of certain anthropod-like features. This creature lived during the Cambrian period, approximately 508 million years ago. A Pulpenia regalis was found in the Burgess Shale, a rich deposit of well-preserved fossils in British Columbia, Canada. It was a small marine animal, reaching a length of up to almost 3 inches, or 7 centimeters. Two of its eyes were attached to stalks, while the third pair wasn't. It also had a distinctive body shape with a long body and five pairs of swimming flaps on the underside. The most remarkable feature was a long flexical proboscis that extended from the front of the body and ended in a grasping claw. It had no trouble seizing small prey, such as worms or other invertebrates, from the seafloor. The swimming flaps would have allowed it to move through the water in a series of undulating motions, similar to how a caterpillar moves. They were also covered in small appendages called seti, which likely helped the creature grip the seafloor. If you don't like centipedes, you definitely don't want to encounter the giant centipede. They are mainly found in the south of America, where it's tropical and as the name suggests, they are huge. They are one of the largest centipedes in the world and can reach a length of 12 inches or 30 centimeters. Believe it or not, this Chinese man even bought one as a pet. They are known as aggressive hunters and can easily overpower spiders, scorpions, and other large insects. If this centipede encounters a larger animal, they can use their venom to hold their own in battle. Fortunately, people are rarely bitten, but when they are, it's extremely painful. The symptoms you might get from the poison are fever, nausea, and problems with your cardiovascular system. They are also a very nasty plague for farmers and people who love gardening. The Meganeropsis permiana was one of the largest insects that ever lived, with a wingspan of more than 27 inches or 70 centimeters. In comparison, the largest wingspan of a living dragonfly is only about 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters. This prehistoric species lived during the Permian period, about 275 million years ago. They likely fed on small insects and small vertebrate animals, using their sharp jaws to grab their prey. They probably also used their impressive size and strength to ward off potential predators. The Meganeropsis was adapted for flight, with large, transparent wings and a relatively lightweight body. However, their size may have made flying a challenge, and scientists suspect that they might have had to rely on gliding to stay in the air for extended times. Like many other species, this insect eventually went extinct about 252 million years ago, during the Permian-Triassic extinction event. The Permian-Triassic was the most severe extinction event in Earth's history, with over 90% of all marine species and more than 70% of all vertebrate animal species disappearing. These dragonflies lived during the period when the first mammals and the first dinosaurs were evolving. Could you imagine what it would have been like to see these giant dragonflies flying over your head? Fire ants are known as ants that can sting and are therefore very feared. Normal ants bite and inject acid into the wound, but fire ants bite and inject venom. This poison can often kill smaller animals. For humans, the sting may not be a serious threat, but it is very painful. In 5% of the cases, it can cause people to suffocate due to an allergic reaction. As the name suggests, these fire ants leave a burning sensation on the skin. Fire ants are also known for their ability to seriously affect nature reserves. In the United States alone, more than $5 billion a year is spent on medical treatment, damage, and control of these insects. These blood-sucking insects, called the kissing bugs, are found mainly in Central and South America, certain areas of the United States, and Mexico. If you encounter one, you will quickly discover that they do not kiss their victim, but they bite you in a Dracula-like manner. They prefer to do this when you are sleeping. Like mosquitoes, these creepy crawlers need blood to survive. They have no problem extracting it from anywhere in your body. But you may be wondering, why are they called kissing bugs? This is because they get their name from where they like to bite you, which is around the mouth or the eyes. They can bite you up to 15 times, and this bite is not only painful, but can also carry diseases such as Chagas disease. Symptoms of this disease are severe fever, vomiting, anemia, and swelling. In the early stages, this disease can still be treated, but after a few months, it can no longer be treated. So in South America, this disease has become a big problem, and unfortunately, it has caused a very unfortunate fate for many people. Ecolopterus is an extinct aquatic anthropod that was predatory and lived in our oceans over 400 million years ago. This species was first described in 1914 by a German geologist named Otto Jekyll. 
These creatures are known as sea scorpions, although they are not true scorpions. The largest species of Eucalopterus is believed to have grown up to 8 feet 4 inches, or 2.5 meters long, making it one of the largest anthropods in the history of the Earth. Despite its large size, Eucalopterus was a fast swimmer, and likely capable of swiftly pursuing and capturing its prey. It had a long segmented body with a pair of large, pincer-like claws at the front. Like other sea scorpions, it was a powerful predator, and prey such as fish and other aquatic animals stood no chance. Fossils of this creature have been found in various parts of the world, including Europe, North America, and South America. Scientists believe that it played an important role as a top predator and contributed significantly to the evolution of other species. At first glance, the brown recluse spider can often be confused with the average brown spider, but you can distinguish them by their eyes. In fact, they have eerie rows of six eyes instead of eight like most spiders. But this spider is among the most dangerous spiders in the world because they are incredibly venomous. After you are bitten, you get dark blisters and sores that can last for weeks. In the same place, your skin can also show extreme reactions, including rotting tissue. Fortunately, these spiders are only found in South and Central United States. In addition, they like dark, hidden places like rocks or under leaves. However, they are also sometimes found in homes, and even in people's shoes. The assassin caterpillar, as the insect is called, is mainly found in the rainforest of southern Brazil, and is known as the most dangerous caterpillar in the world. It also earned a place in the Guinness World Records as the most poisonous caterpillar. You should never touch this caterpillar because first of all, their body destroys your red blood cells. They can grow between 1.3 to 1.8 inches, or 4.5 to 5.5 centimeters tall. And what makes them especially dangerous is that you can barely see them, because they can camouflage themselves perfectly in a tree bark. However, if you find one, there's a good chance that there are several of them around, because they often live in groups. Trilobites were among the first animals to develop eyes, with some species possessing very complex and advanced visual systems. They belonged to the earliest known anthropods and ruled the shallow waters to the vast depths of the ocean. Trilobites lived in the early Cambrian to the end of the Permian, approximately 520 to 251 million years ago. They were incredibly diverse, with over 20,000 different species known from the fossil record. Their bodies were divided into three main parts, the head, thorax, and tailpiece, with distinctive legs attached to the thorax. Despite their diversity and success over millions of years, they died out around the same time as the dinosaurs. Can you believe there were so many scary and large insects on Earth back then? Let me know in those comments. The most dangerous insect on this list. It's the mosquito. Mosquitoes feed on the blood of animals, but also humans. Blood is full of proteins that mosquitoes need to produce eggs. Their bites cause an itchy rash, because their saliva is transmitted during the bite. Like ticks, mosquitoes transmit diseases to humans and animals. According to various data, they are responsible for the deaths of more than 700,000 people a year. Africa, South America, and Asia are said to be affected by most mosquito populations. Some of the diseases that mosquitoes can transmit are Zika virus, West Nile virus, and malaria. Manipulator modificaputus is an extinct species of cockroach that lived during the Cretaceous period, about 100 million years ago. One of the most notable characteristics of this species is its elongated forelegs, which were likely used to grasp and manipulate objects, hence the name Manipulator. This unique adaptation is different from what we see in living cockroach species and suggests a highly specialized lifestyle. Based on morphology, scientists believe that this cockroach possibly lived in a challenging environment, with many obstacles and vegetation. Another unique feature of this cockroach species is a modification to its hind leg, which is likely used as a sensory antenna, providing the cockroach with additional info about its surroundings. This modification is not seen in any other known cockroach species. Therefore, the discovery of this cockroach provides valuable insights into the evolutionary history and the adaptations that enable these insects to survive in diverse environments for millions of years. As cockroaches are such successful and resilient organisms, it may also tell us more about the natural history of the planet. The Mongol arachne were some of the largest spiders that ever existed, with a leg span of up to 6 inches or 15 centimeters. In comparison, the average spider today has a leg span of only a few inches or centimeters. 
This colossal spider sprawled the Earth during the Jurassic period, around 165 million years ago. The Jurassic period was a time of significant evolutionary innovation, during which many new species of plants and animals evolved. The Mongol Arachne was just one example of this incredible diversity of life that existed at the time. It turns out these spiders were predators, likely feeding on small vertebrate animals and other insects. Their large size and strength made them fierce hunters, capable of taking down prey much larger than themselves. Scientists believe that the Mongol Arachne lived in burrows that were possibly up to nearly 3 feet or 1 meter deep. These burrows may have served as a protection and refuge from other predators in harsh environmental conditions. If you're already afraid of spiders, you'll probably be very glad that this spider species is extinct. Isotelus rex is an impressive specimen, estimated to have been about 28 inches or 70 centimeters long, making it one of the largest trilobites known to science. This is a tremendous size compared to the most other trilobite fossils that were found, which are usually only about a few inches or centimeters long. So when a discovery of the largest known trilobite fossil was made, it excited scientists to learn more about it. The fossil consists of a nearly complete dorsal shield. A dorsal shield is the protective covering that runs along the top of the body, and it was found at a site in Manitoba, Canada. Isotelus rex was likely a predator that hunted worms and other invertebrates on the seafloor. It's believed to have scuttled along the bottom of the ocean, utilizing a combination of its numerous legs and flexible body segments to easily locate its prey. Despite its size, Isotelus rex was well adapted to the ocean life. Its heavily armored exoskeleton provided protection against predators and also aided in regulating its buoyancy. And thanks to its many legs, it can move quickly and efficiently through the water. The killer bee is the nickname of the Africanized honeybee, which was a crossing between the East African honeybee and several European honeybee species. They are originally from Brazil and have now taken over parts of South to Central America. This bee species is called killer bee for a reason. They can hunt hundreds of people at a time if you disturb them, and they are responsible for more than 1,000 human deaths. A killer bee can sting 10 times more than any other species, making it very dangerous. In October 2010, a 73-year-old man was clearing up bushes when he accidentally disrupted a beehive. As you can guess, he didn't stand a chance against hundreds of bees. There's also stories of bees chasing people for over 400 yards or 400 meters. Although Justin Schmidt says the bullet ant has the most painful sting, many other people, including YouTuber and wildlife expert Coyote Peterson, say the executioner wasp is the most painful of all. Justin Schmidt, in fact, has never been stung by this wasp, so he did not include it in his pain index. Coyote, however, has experienced the pain of a bullet ant, as well as the executioner wasp, and says the wasp was many times more painful. Within seconds of being stung, Coyote cried out in pain and says his skin burned very badly. The throbbing pain he suffered is due to the wasp's venom, which is pushed into the skin. This venom causes premature cell death in living tissues. Coyote's arm was therefore swollen for days, and he even retained a small hole at the sting area. Based on this experience, Coyote labeled the Executioner Wasp as the king of the stings. Paper wasps are amazing insects. Their round inverted nests are made of paper, from which they get their name. Sometimes they're also called umbrella wasps because their nests resemble that. They are reddish brown striped wasps that are actually not very good at stinging. However, the sting of a paper wasp feels biting and burning with a distinctly bitter aftertaste. This is because it releases toxins that cause allergic reactions, swelling of the lips or throat. In the worst cases, these can even cause death. Other symptoms include dizziness, vomiting, abdominal cramps, and a rapid heartbeat. Their sting serves as a defense against larger animals, such as birds, dogs, wolves, and humans. The good news, however, is that they do not attack unless they feel threatened. So walk around them with a wide circle. Arthropleura is the largest millipede that ever lived and could reach an incredible length of 8.5 feet or 2.6 meters long. This animal was found in the coal swamps in Scotland and North America and lived during the late Carboniferous period, about 300 million years ago. The Arthropleura was a herbivore and fed on plants and other plant material it could find in wooded areas. It likely used its powerful jaws to grind tough plant material, similar to herbivorous insects such as grasshoppers and beetles today. Despite its impressive size, the Arthropleura was not a predator and probably posed no threat to other larger animals. 
Its main defense mechanism was probably its sturdy external skeleton, which provided protection against predators and environmental hazards. The extinction of the Arthropleura is still a topic of debate among scientists. Some believe that changes in climate and vegetation patterns during the late Carboniferous contributed to its demise, while others suggest that more complex ecosystems and the evolution of new apex predators in the area played a role. I can already see you thinking, how can beetles be dangerous? In the world, there are said to be over 350,000 different species of beetle, so it's only natural that there are dangerous species among them. Some of them can actually bite you. Let's start with the titan beetle, one of the largest insects in the world, measuring nearly 17 centimeters in length. They live mainly in rainforests, and their lower jaw are powerful enough to break pencils in half, let alone pierce human flesh. Another species are the Hercules beetles, which belong to a group called rhino beetles. The males can grow as long as 19 centimeters. They are also quite muscular, and they are capable of carrying up to 850 times their body mass. Compared to an adult male, that would mean they could carry as much as 68,000 kilograms. But the most dangerous beetle species is probably the blister beetle. If you come into contact with this beetle, then you can get irritation and blisters that can be very painful. Another dangerous species that should also be mentioned is the rove beetle. These beetles carry a toxic chemical compound called paterin. This can cause bumps with a burning sensation from which some people get high fevers and body pains. It could even make you blind, so beware of this insect. Initially, when the megarachne was found, it was thought to be a giant spider, but later studies revealed that it was a sea scorpion known as a Eurypterid. Eurypterids are an extinct group of aquatic anthropods that lived during the Paleozoic era, which extended from 541 to 251 million years ago. The species of Megarachne was first discovered in the 1980s, based on a fossilized imprint found in Argentina. Since then, further research has been conducted to better understand this fascinating creature. It's believed to have lived in shallow seas, and used its powerful claws to capture and kill prey. One of the most notable features of the Megarachne, however, was its size. Initially, it was thought that its legs spanned an estimated 13 feet or 4 meters. However, the estimate was later challenged by scientists with some suggesting it was smaller. Despite its smaller size, the Megarachne is still an important species to study, as it provides insights into the evolutionary history of anthropods. Namely, the Megarachne and other Eurypterids belong to the earliest anthropods that evolved. The Asian giant hornet is an insect that has been spreading more and more over the last few years. You can find them in the tropical regions of China. Japan, and India. Since 2020, there would have been reports of a number of them being found in America, and this can become a big problem. First of all, they can reach a length of almost 3 inches, or 7 centimeters. And secondly, they can exterminate hundreds of bees at the same time. And this is a big problem, because the bees are important for pollinating our food crops. Beekeepers are therefore very concerned about the growing population of these hornets. But these hornets can also be dangerous for humans. Their sting is very poisonous and painful, and in Japan alone, these hornets cause 50 deaths a year. The Megalograptus was one of the earliest known predatory anthropods and played a crucial role in shaping early marine ecosystems. The Megalograptus was a sea scorpion that lived during the Silurian era, around 430 million years ago. It was a kind of aquatic predator that would have lived in a shallow sea and reef environment. It was also one of the largest anthropods of its time, with a body length of up to 40 inches or 1 meter. In addition to its long body, it had a pair of large claws at the front, which it used to capture and crush its prey. It also had long, thin legs, which allowed it to move through the water. However, its body was covered with a hard external skeleton that provided protection and support. One of the most interesting features of the Megalograptus was its respiratory system. Instead of gills, it absorbed oxygen from the water through small plate-like structures on its external skeleton. By its very name, the tarantula hawk immediately conjures up an image of fear. This insect is actually a spider killer, which has a fondness for larger spiders, particularly tarantulas. They use their sting to put their tarantula prey into a deep paralysis before taking it back to the nest as live food. However, there's a tarantula hawk species that feeds quite separately on just some nectar from flowers. Of the carnivores among them, it's mainly the females that are very skilled at hunting tarantulas. 
Their sting, which can last about 5 minutes, is called by many one of the most painful insect stings in the world. One researcher who has experienced it firsthand describes it as an immediate and excruciating pain that simply takes away your ability to do anything but scream. This would really be true, as even insect researcher Justin Smith says it's extremely painful. The Dinocrotin draculae, also known as Dracula, is a giant extinct tick that lived during the Cretaceous period, about 99 million years ago. It was first identified in 2014 when a fossil was found in a piece of amber, allowing the tick to be preserved in exceptional detail. The species was named Dracula due to its long pointed mouth parts, which resemble the fangs of the famous vampire. Like modern ticks, the Dinocrotin draculae feed on the blood of other animals. While it's not exactly clear which animal this specific species preyed upon, it's thought that it possibly targeted dinosaurs, as feathers from a dinosaur were found in the same amber specimen as the tick. What makes this tick so interesting, however, are its unusual mouth parts. Unlike modern ticks, which have knife-like mouth parts to cut into the skin, the Dinocrotin draculae had long barb-like structures, with which it pierced the skin of its prey. This suggests that the tick might have had a different method of latching onto its host than the modern ticks do. A wasp can be found almost all over the world. They are very useful because they eat flies and mosquitoes. You've probably seen them flying around in your garden or on your balcony. But did you know that there are more than 75,000 different species? One of them is the yellow jacket, which you can mainly find in North America. Unlike the wasps that usually leave you alone, this wasp is notorious for its aggressiveness. If someone accidentally gets too close to one of the underground nests, their alarm signal will summon hundreds of stinging wasps to attack. Unlike bees, these yellow-colored insects do not lose their stinger. So they don't just sting you once, but they will repeatedly attack and sting you purely out of aggression. In some cases, their sting can even be deadly. Campanile giganteum is an exceptionally large fossil sea snail that lived in the oceans during the Eocene Epoch. The shells of these sea snails are often found in rock layers that also contain fossils of other ancient animals, providing important clues about the ecology of the oceans millions of years ago. It's believed that these sea snails lived on Earth 56 to 34 million years ago. They belong to the family of Campanilidae, a group of marine mollusks known for their distinctive elongated shells. This sea snail was remarkable for its size, with its shell reaching lengths of 4 feet or 120 centimeters, making it one of the largest species of mollusks to have ever have lived. However, other animals had to be cautious around this creature, as its shells had a sharp pointed tip and a series of fine rib-like ridges. Campanile giganteum is primarily found in the Paris Basin in France, where it lived in shallow marine waters. Like other members of its family, it likely fed on small organisms, such as plankton and other microorganisms. The Puss Caterpillar is a butterfly with long hair that reminds you of a Persian cat. And no, this is not a friendly Pokemon, as this insect is among one of the most poisonous insects in the world. You can find them mainly in Mexico and the eastern United States. It's actually the larvae that make the insects so dangerous, so it's best not to touch them. They have brush-like hairs, which are accompanied by orange stripes across their back. They have brush-like hairs, which are accompanied by an orange stripe across their back. However, these hide a secret weapon, poisonous spines. If they make contact with your skin, you will experience indescribable pain. This is because the venom of this caterpillar spreads throughout your body. If you have been stung, it is recommended to immediately clean the wound and first remove the hairs that are stuck in your skin. The Titanomiarme, better known as the giant ant, was a prehistoric ant that lived during the Eson Epoch, around 34 to 56 million years ago. The Titanomiarme was one of the largest ants that ever existed, with a body length of up to 2 inches or 5 centimeters. It's believed to have been a top predator in its ecosystem, hunting other insects and even small vertebrates. There were two types of Titanomiarme Titanomiarme giganti and Titanomiarme similima. However, the Titanomiarme gigante was larger and more aggressive. The giant ant also had a distinctive jaw structure that served to easily capture prey. And scientists think it also had a venomous sting. The size of this ant is believed to be linked to the concentration of oxygen in the atmosphere during the Isani Posh. At that time, oxygen levels were higher than they are now, which possibly enabled insects to reach larger sizes. Despite its size, it was still an efficient and cooperative member of its colony. 
It's believed to have functioned much like modern ants, with a clear division of labor. Can you imagine thousands of ants the size of this coming at you? Quite a creepy thought. Native to Central and South America, the warrior wasp, or Sinoeca, is notorious for its enormously painful sting. Unlike most insects, which only attack when provoked, the warrior wasp is naturally aggressive. According to the insect researcher Justin Schmidt, who wrote the book, The Sting of the Wild, the sting of this insect feels like you are chained in the current of an active volcano. You will find it almost impossible to imagine the pain of it. In addition to its sting, the wasp has another way of scaring its enemies in advance. They are known for aggressively flapping their wings up and down together. For this reason, they have earned the nickname Drumming Wasps. This also usually deters predators. But if this doesn't work, their sting is the second defense option. The Giga Titan was a huge insect that lived during the Permian era, which took place 298 to 252 million years ago. This period was marked by some of the most dramatic changes in Earth's history, including the formation of the supercontinent Pangaea. There was also a mass extinction at the end of Permian, with about 96% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial species dying out. The Giga Titan was a predatory extinct insect with a wingspan of 28 inches or 71 centimeters. Additionally, it had large wings that were covered with a network of veins, which provided support and strength for flight. These wings were attached to a sturdy, muscular thorax, which also housed the insect's powerful legs. An interesting fact about the Giga Titan is that it wasn't a true dragonfly, but belonged to a group of insects known as Megarid flies. These insects were some of the largest and most ruthless predators of the Permian era, capable of capturing and eating other insects, as well as small reptiles and amphibians. Imagine how terrifying it would have been if humans had lived during this period. Insect researcher Justin Schmidt didn't just write the book The Sting of the Wild. To write the book, he studied various insect stings by experiencing them firsthand. During this process, he created the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, which he used to rank the stings. The insect at the top of this index is none other than the bullet ant, so named because its sting is similar to a gunshot wound. In Venezuela, he is also known as a 24-hour ant, because the victim either suffers an entire day of pain or dies within 24 hours. Let's believe the words of Dr. Schmidt and stay far away from this insect. In fact, he describes the sting of the bullet ant as pure, intense, and exceptional pain. Ants are known to be diligent workers, and the red harvester ant is the best proof of that. These ants are mostly found in the southwestern United States. Their food is seeds, and they eat them in large quantities. With their huge mandibles, they grind the seeds thoroughly and store them in all kinds of granary. These little workers of only 7 millimeters make sure that there's enough food for everyone throughout the year. They are therefore nicknamed the Red Harvester Ant. The Red Harvester Ant is not only a great food gatherer, but also a dreaded pricker. Some species have barbed spines that can break the skin. However, they can even be nastier, as they can sting multiple times. The effect of their sting can travel along lymphatic ducts and cause serious damage. Their venom consists of amino acids, peptides, proteins, and an alkaloid venom that acts as a pheromone. This means that a single harvester ant can summon a whole outfit of weapons when a threat arises. So imagine if you encountered a whole army of these types of ants. Anomalocaris was a large invertebrate that could reach a length of up to almost 16 inches or 40 centimeters, excluding its front appendages and tail fin. This insect lived about 500 million years ago, during the Cambrian period. It had a pair of large compound eyes and swimming flaps along its body. The Anomalocaris was one of the largest predators of its time and had a very unusual way of catching its prey. Its front appendages had spiky hooks and were used to grasp prey. After grabbing the prey, it would be brought to the creature's sharp toothed circular mouth to be crushed. Scientists believe this insect was an active hunter. Initially, Anomalocaris fossils were incorrectly identified as belonging to three separate creatures. However, this insect had a unique way of moving, using its swimming flaps to propel itself through the water in a snake-like manner. Anomalocaris was one of the largest animals of the Cambrian and is believed to have been a top predator. Despite its frightening appearance and predatory lifestyle, the Anomalocaris was not invincible as it was hunted by similar species. The Doryless ant, also known as the driver ants, have colonies with sometimes more than 20 million different individuals. 
They are mainly found in Central and Eastern Africa and in certain tropical parts of Asia. These ants are carnivores, and their food consists mainly of earthworms. But they are also known to attack animals that don't get out of their way fast enough. Now, it's common knowledge that only red fire ants can bite, but this is not the case. There are more than 12,000 species of ants that can do this. However, the doorless ant uses its scissor-like jaws to bite its prey, and when they feel threatened, they use these jaws on humans. Those that have had this experience say that removing this ant can be difficult because their jaws are extremely strong, not to mention the fact that the bite is very painful. Flies aren't dangerous, are they? In some cases, they are. The average housefly is believed to be able to transmit at least 65 diseases and 350 types of bacteria. These bacteria can lead from fever to tuberculosis to leprosy. If that doesn't sound bad enough, you haven't seen the world's largest fly. Meet the Garamitis heros, a fly that can grow as long as 7 centimeters. Just imagine for a moment that this fly is flying in your home. This fly is found in countries such as Bolivia, Paraguay, and Brazil. Make sure you don't leave any unattended food lying around, because flies love to eat it. Have you ever come across a dangerous insect? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.